This satellite image taken Sunday, September 1, 2019, shows Hurricane Dorian churning over the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Florida and over the Bahamas. Associated Press More than 1,000 flights in the U.S. have been cancelled as Hurricane Dorian approaches the East Coast. At least three airports are closing in Florida, where hurricane conditions are expected as early as Monday night. The hurricane's path has been unusually unpredictable, but it is likely to affect Florida, as well as Georgia and South Carolina, and over a million people across the three states have been ordered to evacuate their homes. Many airlines have issued travel waivers that allow those who booked flights which may be directly affected by the storm to change the travel plans free of charge. Visit Business Insider's homepage for more stories. More than 1,000 flights have been cancelled in the U.S. on Monday, and three Florida airports are shutting completely, as Category 5 Hurricane Dorian slowly approaches the East Coast. Flight tracking website FlightAware said that 1,088 flights within, into or out of the U.S. on Monday had been cancelled as of Monday morning. More than 450 of these flights were due to take off from airports in Florida. Three Florida airports are closing completely on Monday as a result of Dorian's imminent arrival. Palm Beach International Airport has closed for all of Monday, and said that passengers should contact their airlines for information about the flights. It also warned people to stay away from the airport entirely, do not plan to shelter at PBI. PBI is not a shelter, read more. Hurricane Dorian is grinding closer to the U.S. with devastating winds due in Florida as soon as tonight. Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport and Orlando Melbourne International Airport both said that they will close from 12 p.m. On Monday, the hurricane is currently pounding the Bahamas with winds of up to 165 miles per hour and storm surges as high as 23 feet. Dorian's path is unusually unpredictable, but it is likely to affect Florida followed by Georgia and South Carolina. Over a million people across the three states have been ordered to evacuate their homes. The National Hurricane Center's forecast for Hurricane Dorian as of 8 a.m. ET on Monday. National Hurricane Center Other Florida airports, including Tampa International Airport, Miami International Airport, and Orlando International Airport, said they were monitoring the hurricane, and advised passengers to arrive early for the flights because of a high volume of passengers. They also told passengers to check the status of their flights before traveling to their respective airports. Airlines including American Airlines and United Airlines have issued travel waivers that allowing those who booked flights that might be directly affected by the storm change the travel plans free of charge. Read more. Hurricane Dorian is set to wreak havoc on air travel. Here's what you need to know about flights. The National Hurricane Center said on Monday morning that hurricane conditions could reach Florida as early as Monday night. Dorian's path is unusually unpredictable and NHC forecasters say that it may not end up making landfall in Florida, but would still bring devastating conditions. Let's block ads. Why?